Welcome, bienvenidos, usa casa cabo. Today is a very special day. I am making a video that is going to be very raw and very limited edits, except for adding certain things that I might want you to see or whatnot. This is a very personal video, which I'm hoping that will not only define where the ch this particular channel is going, but also it will encourage other people to do the things that they want to do because it has been a long journey. So let me start from the beginning. Um, I don't know where this is going to go. <laughs> there is no script. Usually I have a script. There is no script. And if I edit things out, it's going to be like if I cough or if I start going, uh, 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 because you all know I stutter. And so that is where I'm going as far as that's all the limited scope of this video. There is a lot of reasons why I'm making this video. The number one reason why I'm making this video is because I want to document what's happening right now, as opposed to what happened a few years ago or what will happen in the future. We're in 2022. We're in May, 2022, May 9th, as I'm filming this video. I don't know when you're going to catch up with this video. But so that you have a little history, if you don't know me, my name is Roxana, and I have another channel called Metamorphosis Rocks. And as of the filming of this video, that uh, <laughs> that channel has had a story. Basically, let me go back for a second. This morning, I was watching a video by Ali. I am not going to try to butcher his last name. He doesn't need me to promote him, but I am going to leave the link below to that particular video because he was talking about his journey through blogging, as in writing. And some things hit me when I was listening to that video. Number one was this idea of documenting what your processes are and whatnot. Now, I have been hinting at something going on and it's this concept of being the anti-influencer. And the reason why I consider myself an anti-influencer is because I consider myself one of millions of people who live life, who live fairly boring lives. I mean, boring to other people. To us, they're entertaining, but to them, they would be boring. And there were two concepts that I started on other social platform, media platforms. One is the anti-influencer. The other one was keeping it 100 that's what I'm doing in this video. I'm giving you a 360 view of what's going through my head right now. And so when I was watching Ali's video, it struck me that he had gone through the same thought process of a while back than in at the same time I was going through that, but with wildly different results. Of course, he's a gigantic creator. I'm a tiny little creator, and especially on this channel. And what I wanted to do is... The original channel, which would be Metamorphosis Rock, started about five years ago. So now we're going back to, to that. Metamorphosis Rocks was supposed to be a commentary channel before commentary was the thing. And people, and the argument between drama and commentary was like really brewing about a year after I started. And people were finding it obnoxious of me. Because I guess people think that I think I'm smarter than I really am, which I'm not. I am very aware of how dumb I am. However, I kept trying to explain to people the difference between commentary and drama. And this morning, it finally hit me. Why did not use the certain analogy that I'm about to use? And it is very simple. If you have a newspaper, and I hope that in your community, wherever you are, whenever you see this video, there are newspapers. But there are two types of situations in newspapers. You have the news and you have the op-eds, the opinion editorial. Now, the news, at the end of the day, the news, even though it's factual, it's somebody's version of the events. It really doesn't matter how good a reporter is, how unbiased, how technical the writing is. At the end of the day, when you get a news briefing or a news story, it is always going to be through the eyes of the person telling you, or in the case of somebody that writes for them, the writer, okay? It is not the exact truth because there is no such thing. And the reason for that is very simple. Think about it yourself. You and your best friend or your brother or your sister or somebody in your family go somewhere. 
and something happens. There's an accident, there's a, a big storm, anything. The version of the events that you two are going to have is not going to match exactly. Based on our education, based on our upbringing, based on things that we've lived through, every version of the events is going to be a little different. Now, the facts are still going to be the same. There was a fire in this place, or there was a hurricane, or there was a tornado, or whatever. But what you actually focus on is going to be very different. So your story, your version of the story, is going to be very different to somebody else's. That's drama. The facts are all the same, but the perceptions of the people are different. Commentary. By its own admission, commentary is the conclusions that we develop based on the facts that we're given. So when people look at drama channels or at news stations, they're expecting the facts. When people look at commentary, they're expecting to see our perceptions and our conceptions and our opinions on what we are seeing. And for some reason, I could never explain that to a point where people would understand what the difference between commentary and drama was. Well, now drama is pretty much dead. Most of the old drama channels are now doing commentary. And to be honest with you, I think the reason for that is because most channels were doing a hybrid of both drama and commentary. They would give you the, the facts and then they would give you their opinions, which would make it more of a commentary video than a drama video. But here's the thing. At the end of the day, that channel was doing, that's what that channel was doing. And for the last couple, I started about five years ago. And for about the last couple of years, I pretty much let that channel die. And I let it die because I let people get to my head. And what do I mean by that? When you're on social media, it doesn't matter if you have a small following or a huge following. People feel entitled to tell you how they feel about their what you're doing. The same way you are. The difference between most people is that some people are going to try to be as tactful and as positive as possible. And some people are just going to come to either troll you or bully you or harass you. Unfortunately, when you start seeing death threats, people doxing your family and people actually creating false accounts of things that happen, it starts getting to you. I don't care who you are. I don't care how much you say that you don't care. It does get to you. And instead of doing the smart thing, which would have been to mute and block all those people, I actually paid attention to them. Recently, it came out that the same 10 people had 30, 40, 50 accounts so you felt like 50 people were attacking you when it was actually five, six, seven of them? Because, of course, 10 or 20 had 50 or 60 accounts, but only three or four of them were really harassing you. So when you have a small channel that has a 1,000 people and you have 50 people hating on you, it feels like a lot. And I'm one of those people that likes everybody to like them, so I had a really hard time with this. But this year... I started following the advice of Monica Lewinsky. And for those of you who are too young to remember, Monica Lewinsky was um, a little indiscretion on President Clinton's behalf. And unfortunately, like it usually happens when there's an affair of any sort, the woman ends up getting the short end of the stick. And so people harassed her and bully her. To this day, people still harass her and bully her because of what happened and they don't take into account that she was in her 20s and he was in his 50s and that he had all the power and she had none and there's a lot to digest in that situation but I'm not going to get into that I just want you to understand that she has made it her mission to get people to the point where they realize you know just mute and block people who are not in your interested in your highest good and so when the year started i started by blocking and muting pretty much everybody that was either harassing me doxing me making my life difficult um giving my giving me opinions that were not worthy because here's the thing telling me to kill myself is not something i can work on 
I already tried that and it failed. But telling me, you know, your intros are too long or you don't have enough intro or you should wear more makeup or less makeup or I like this or I don't like that. Now, I might not listen to you anyway, but that's constructive criticism and I appreciate that. Or if you disagree with me on something, I don't have a, a problem if people disagree. I have a problem when people disagree by telling you what an idiot you are. Uh, just because I have a different opinion than you doesn't necessarily mean I'm an idiot. It is what it is. And so I ended up in this conundrum because I wanted something and I knew what I wanted, but I wasn't sure how to get to it. And so this morning when I was watching Ali talking about his journey, I realized a couple of things. I am an anti-influencer. I'm 55 years old. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm a woman. English is not my first language. I have a condition called IBS, which messes with my stomach, which in turn messes with my brain. So I have brain fog. One of the interesting things about IBS, and I am going to make a longer video about this, but just so to give you a little inkling of what's happening. IBS affects your digestive system, which means you don't get as many nutrients as you should. Um, you don't have, you don't absorb things the same way normal people would. And so one of the things that I found very interesting about this entire process is that you start getting sensitivities to certain foods. I was raised on a steady diet of arroz blanco y habichuela, white rice and beans. I love bread. I can't have bread. I can have the arroz, but I can have the habichuela. And so I am very sensitive to gluten. And ironically, people who are gluten sensitive or celiac, depending on how bad your sensitivity to the gluten is, tend to have symptoms that mirror fibromyalgia, starting with brain fog. And when you have a 25% predisposition to ending up with Alzheimer's like I do because my mother had Alzheimer's. Having brain fog is really scary. <clears throat> and that's why I'm talking to you today. When Ali was talking about documenting his experiences, he's learning art now. So, and by the way, this video is a year old and I had fallen down the Ali rabbit hole a long time ago, but for some reason I had never seen this video. And he, a year ago, was starting to do artwork and things like that. And this guy is a freaking doctor. He started documenting his experiences as a doctor who was reading books on productivity and things that interested him. And he had all the doubts that we all have. Well, what if nobody watches or what if nobody cares? Or, But you know what? At the end of the day, if you want to do something, it really doesn't matter if people want to watch it or not. Metamorphosis Rocks is the channel that I want people to pay attention to. This particular channel is about documenting the experience. I have a life. Even though I spend most of my time locked in these four walls, because my husband is working right outside the door, I have a life. I do things. I read books. I read magazines. I organize my apartment. I do all these kinds of things in... It's not necessarily that I want people to, oh, wow, what is she doing today? It's more about the fact that I want to document what I'm doing for two reasons. Number one, I want to see if there's any progress from where I am now to where I am later. Because one of the things that I have noticed is that people seem to think that when you get to a certain age, you think you know everything. I am very well aware that I don't know anything. And so I want to learn. So that's what the books are for and magazines and all this other stuff. The second reason why I want to document things is because I do get brain fog a lot. Because every once in a while I sin and I eat gluten because I love gluten. Sorry. So what I have decided to do is keep this particular channel as my way of documenting all the processes that I'm going through as I journey through what I'm hoping is healing. I have found some things that are working for me right now, which yes, it means that I have taken even more food out of my daily habits, but hopefully I'll find more foods that I can include. And so the hope of this channel is for me to be able to document everything that I go to go through. So 
that if at any point I don't remember a book I read, a magazine I looked at, a lesson in art or something like that, I can just come back to my channel and look at it. And the reason why I'm keeping it public is because I'm hoping that if anybody finds themselves in the same situation I am, if you feel like you're the anti-influencer in your life because nobody cares about what you do or what you think, or you have a hobby that's so weird that you think nobody's going to pay attention to it, or you like to read books and you feel like you're too old or not the right uh, size or not the right look, and you still want to do something, I hope that this gives you the motivation to do it. And I know this is not the first time I make a video about this, but the difference now is I am working really hard to create content because that's what I like to do. I am aware that a lot of people don't want me on social media, or maybe it's just the same 20 people with 100 accounts. I don't know. But I mute them. I block them. I wish them well, which is something I didn't do before. And I hope that they find their happiness because obviously if you have that much hate and anger and resentment and that you feel like you have to bully and dox people to make yourself happy, there's a lot of sadness in your life. And I can't help you with that because you don't want to get help. But I can tell you what makes me happy. Now, before I finish this, uh, I have made a complete fool of myself wearing a sunrise in my eyeballs. This is for something I'm doing on another social media platform, but I use this. Now, this palette is from BH Cosmetics, is Party in Puerto Rico, and the color selection, the only thing I regret about this color selection is that they didn't add green. Those are not green. This is more like gold and silver, I mean, gold and copper and whatnot. But it turns out to be very pigmented, as you can see. I lost my mind. But I kind of like, I kind of dig it. I have gone into this whole thing that I want to show everything that I do. Good, bad, or indifferent. And, of course, the lipsticks, y'all know, is Gerard Cosmetics. It's a combination of these two. This one's Skinny Dip. It's a matte. And it's Skinny Dip Hydra Matte. And then this one is called James. It's from a collab that Gerard did with Lyrica Anderson. And I freaking love these two. I, I don't want these two to end. But I make different combinations of these two. And I blot them certain ways and whatnot. I try to do um, ombre effects and whatnot. And I'm having a lot of fun putting makeup on and making a fool of myself on social media. It is what it is. This was supposed to be fun. This has always been about having fun. And I'm going back to having fun. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention was this. Ali. 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 It's Ali. Not Ali. It's Ali. Ali was talking about a particular video that he... A video. Book that he read. Which is this fit, book right here. Show your work. And ironically, this is from Austin Kleon. And he has three books. Well, I have three of his books. And I purchased them because I read this one, Steal Like an Artist. These books are fantastic, by the way. And they're very quick reads. They're tiny little books. And they're big letters. And you can read this in an hour or two hours. But the information on them is really good. And when I bought them, I wanted to make a series about these particular books and what I learned from them and how I adapted what I learned into my real life and make a video about that. And for some reason, I left it. I stopped it. And I'm going to do it now because I do want to see where it takes me. I am going to start reading magazines again and showing you what I learned. I am going to start drawing again. I'm going to start from scratch. I think I said this before, but this is it. I got really good news today. And something that I thought was never going to happen is probably going to happen now. And I am really excited about it. But the most important thing is that now I have more time for me. And I can do this. And I can create content. And I can share what I learned with other people. And here's the thing. You're never too old to learn new things. You're never too old to try new things. 
And if anybody tells you that you're too old or that you're too ugly or too fat or your hair's not the right color. Now, you can't see it, but it's blue right now. It's going to be purple by the end of this week, but it's blue. And I don't know why you can't see it because it is really... Ooh, there you go. I don't know why you can't see it on camera, but I decided to come with very little hair on because usually I have the hair on or a wig. And with my clown face today because I'm about to take the picture for the daily challenge and I just wanted you to understand something. I don't know how many times you're going to hear this and I don't know how many ways I'm going to say it, but do what makes you happy. You can have all the money in the world and be miserable. You can have all the education in the world. In fact, one of my biggest um, haters, if you want to call them that, apparently is a college professor and has a PhD. And they like to entertain themselves by harassing other people on the internet. All the education in the world, all the money in the world, all the uh, physical things in the world are not going to make you happy. They're not. They're not going to make you a good person either. You can be as educated as you want to be and still be a racist. You can be as rich as you want to be and still be a misogynist and an asshole. It is what it is. But what we're hoping and what I'm hoping is that you watch, you come here and you watch me do some silly video about, I don't know, I decided to draw an anime today. And I make a complete fool of myself for you. And at the end of the day, I might have an okay drawing or maybe a crappy drawing. But I had a lot of fun doing it and telling you all about it. And that's where I'm going. And I'm hoping that you'll join me in the journey. And that you find this interesting, amusing, entertaining, or just plain something to do while you're doing whatever you're doing in your house. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you stay. If you like what you see, if you want to encourage me to keep doing it, just go ahead and hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing. And I'll see you on the next video, which I don't know when it's going to be because I have no idea what I'm going to do next. Bye.